Hello. Hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an illumined Blu-ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois. And today I have several things to talk to you about. Uh, I want to let you know, uh, some of it's going to be about animals. Here's my spirit, one of my many spirit animals. We kind of look alike, don't we? This uh, cougar, mountain lion, the lion energy, riding that into uh, right through here. So what I want to talk, this video is especially for Blu-ray Twin Flames. Some stuff you have to know, have to know. And I am very happy to be, uh, be the one being the messenger for this. Some things that I want to say to you. Uh, there's going to be people around you that don't get it. They haven't experienced what you've experienced. There's people around you that don't know how you do what you do. There's going to be people that won't know how you miraculously cured something or healed something. There's going to be people that wonder why, you know, why do you hear stuff and I don't. There's going to be people that wonder, why aren't you doing something with your life when you want to say, my God, I've been working 24-7. Like one of the Blu-rays that I've had the privilege to speak to, who lives out in Yosemite in a state park, and she herself has been doing oodles of transmuting work. So whether you're a transmuter, whether you are bridge or whether you're a prototype or whatever you call it that you do because some of us just have to make up names because there is no human vocabulary for this and I want to encourage you once again that you are angelic there's going to be a difference you are a human angelic the things that are human will be uh, departing from you that's some of the departures I talked about there are people that are going to say, well, you might not know what you're talking about. You know, you're a human after all. No, you're an angelic, and a lot of you do know. And there is knowingness in your heart. So do not give in to some of the stuff that's out there. This is, this is for you. This is a Blu-ray message. And, yeah, I'm calling out to the tribe. Guess what? We're healing all our relationships with the tribes so we can go home. And Illumin Blu-ray Twin Flames are going home. This means your physical union. This, does, this means actually with each other and going back to where you really live. You will be coming back here and finding that balance, staying calm, maintaining your balance. There are some other uh, colors besides the blue. The blue has everything the entire spectrum and I want to also say something here blu-rays are the only angelics you are source angelics meaning you've come from there you know the pathways back it's like you're making new pathways you're the only angelics that have the full light body template and the path which is the bridge it the path is the way some of you are the people that can go in and you're hacking things like you hack with a machete to make new pathways. But you're not going to slip off your own bridge. We have the path and the bridge back to source. To back to source love and you're bringing it here. You are bringing source love here. That is particularly challenging because we have never done an ascension like this um, once you are merged you then can offer this template to other people now some people have been receiving integrating honing it those are some of the people that I'm talking about some of the other color rays who are staying focused on their unions and it's a challenge because you have people that will tell you you don't know what you're doing. Uh, it's important to really go with what you know in your heart. So this time that you're coming into, September 17th, this is the Mercury retrograde. There's some things you need to know as a Blu-ray. This is for setting things right. 
this is time for you to set things right with your twin. Whether that means a live-in relationship, whether it means uh, taking the actions, whether it means some other form of getting healthy so that you can come together. It's going to be different things for different people. A lot of people that I've been speaking to have really had some weird interactions with their twin. But what that is, that is for you to dredge up any of the subtle nuances because even those subtleties are significant. And yeah, you're getting ready to be filled with love. That's the key here. So there's been a lot of people who are waiting. This is a time period. It, I got it as September 13th to October 18th. And I'm going to put myself out there. I put it on my website, put it right on the front page. That That is the time. And the way that I received that information, uh, it was the blue ocean of love opening up in the cosmic sacred heart of love. And that is the expansion of your heart. You're expanding your cosmic sacred heart with each other, with your twin. You're also booting people out that don't belong there. People, places, things. A lot of the how-to of that, someone said, how do you do this? Why don't you talk about the fifth dimension? You're going to get to the fifth dimension with your own true love. Not with me, not with a bunch of other people. You're going to do it with your own true love. The timing may be the same as other people. There, there's going to be waves of people. But you can only do this with your true twin flame. Your true twin flame. Yes, that's true. I do talk about those things in my webinars with the how, the why, what is this, what is that. A lot of questions that get asked. They get answered in my webinars. It's packed in there to make it accessible to everyone. So physically being together, the time frame is through October 18th, and the union is priority. All of your recent interactions were to break up unresolved karmic relationships, and that karma involves many things. It can be stuff with a marriage. It can be stuff with another person. It could be family issues. It could be someone that's just hanging on your wings. The message of the wings I was getting for, for years, actually, already. And getting people off your wings as Blu-rays pay attention right now. Getting the people that you've uh, helped off of your wings, it's important. It really is important. And it's the, even that, a lot of this is going to take on a life of its own. Do your best to accelerate it. If you don't know how, get my webinar. These unresolved karmic relationships can include legal issues. They can include uh, temperaments. It can include, te what is temperament? That's behaviors. That's habits. That's your balance. It can include also stuff with children. Any things having to do with children. Anything. It could be, you know, because many of you are gearing up here to be true partners. And it's not intended to be your grandma's marriage. It's not intended to be your grandpa's marriage. It's not intended to be anybody else's idea of what it is. Look at me. I'm getting ready for a divine marriage here. I'm, get, I'm starting to get dressed for it. <laughs> but uh, going back to the blue ocean of love. For quite a while, I was getting uh, messages of the above and the below. And this is probably a really good depiction here. The whales and whales in the sky. And I kept looking it up because I talked about cetacean energy. I have that in my webinar. I have a, uh, an exercise that I call the electric cetacean. And this cetacean energy has been coming for a while. Because I put that in my October webinar last year. And we're coming up here October of this year. One year baby where you're bringing it to closure full circle. And who are the cetaceans? Uh, for us, it's going to be people with um, Mars energy, Sirius energy, some Arcturus energy, 
It's going to be people that feel connected to elephants, other cetaceans, dolphins. I don't have a whale. There's a little uh, stingray. We keep these in our house. These are, these are friends that actually help with the ascension symptoms. Cuddling at night, airing them out during the day. They help. Every little bit helps. Be sure that you do your best to get every little bit that helps you. So uh, going back a ways here, I want to talk about February. Now, February, uh, there was an event for me that happened. And yes, I'm going to talk about my own experience. This is not my opinion. This is experience. And so it's my truth. And this is how I experienced it. Some people are going to have a different experience. And I hope by sharing my own true life experience that some of this will resonate with some of you. Uh, I was, uh, my son had hurt himself. He slipped a wrist in his uh, hand felt not right. And I got a call, and they, he was complaining that a bone was sticking out. Oh, my God. So I take him to the emergency room. We had to wait four hours. While we were waiting, I was getting those signals. Time to plant some energies here. Time to shift some energies. And, yes, it goes through my body. That's what I call um, making the pathways. I am a beloved of the way. That's what Blu-rays are known as. We have the ways home to love. So I'm here doing this, and it's honestly kind of tedious, although the energy feels great. We finally get into the inner sanctum, and I feel this wind pass through my body, and it felt like it came from the all that is. It just passed right through, and I could feel it. We were in an inner room all the way inside there were no windows in this room and I could I could feel the wind and it was there and I felt words to go with this you'll always be able to heal after this we've put this here we've elevated it don't be afraid and the love that came with this that was just beautiful and I knew in that moment that my son's hand went from possibly a broken bone in the wrist to nothing, nothing. He even said to me about 10 minutes after that, because yes, he himself is a little twin flame, and these kids have resilient spirits. They are so strong. Out of the mouths of babes. And some of you are relating this to me. Some of you have your own stories about your kids. They're amazing. But he said, I don't think it's broken. And there it was. But the key difference is we're not hearing this with our head. We're feeling the words with our heart and feeling the truth in it. And that's the direction we're going. We're feeling these truths. Now, that is also the place where he goes to the doctor, where he gets his checkups, where we have to get everything else. So that also was elevating all of those future experiences. But th it was like this for everyone. February were the winds of change from the galactic center. April was pulling in from the four corners of the galaxy. And I talked about that in one of my April videos. June was the turning point. So now that we've brought everything in, we turned it, we've elevated it. And the way that I perceive that, and I wanted to get out here and go, woohoo, we are going, because I knew it months ago. It was almost as though a bunch of people were standing on a parachute. And the parachute picked itself up with the strings, and the strings, and it got lifted and toted like it was on a zip line. It just zipped. And a whole bunch of people were in there. I can't identify everyone. I can feel the energies. I felt ver some very familiar energies. And we were all like, woohoo, the energies of this were like, we're going. We're going. And this became something that floated along and it elevated. So by August, the Lion's Gate, everything was open and flowing. A lot of people felt this uh, ick, the heartache, the chest aches, the headaches. Stomach aches, gut aches, uh, just weirdnesses with your body might have started popping open, flowing out and washing out everything. And September into 
October, this is when the divine love starts to flow in. So when I got a depiction like this, okay, um, and I was seeing a whale in the sky, cosmic whale, I looked this up actually because this is a very common theme in artwork. This artist is by no means the only artist to do it. And some of, some of you have beautiful, gorgeous artwork. I love it. I love it. I love it. And the whale in the sky, I, I read something. It's, this was just an article on artwork. But this completely answered my question. I was saying, why the whale in the sky? Why the whale in the sky? And it was because it gives it a focal point. It's that cetacean energy that has no fear out in the void. There's no fears. It, we know where we're going. We can feel the currents. We are making our, our, our decisions from a place of loving being in these energies and these emotions. Things are going to change up on a moment's notice. So are you, are you or your twin afraid of the unknown? Are you afraid to leave this earth planet? Are you afraid to go out there again? Because everything that you create and everything that you do, it has to be in your heart, through your heart, through all your creativity, and it has to be with your love of your twin. Some people act like they're the Lone Ranger. There's no one else that they're going to have to do this with, and they're just going, they don't need anybody else. But you have half of the locks and keys, and your twin has the other half. That's how it is. You're not going to be able to unlock everything. You're not be able to go through these small, tiny portals out into the unknown because this is an uncreated place that you're going to. So we've lifted and elevated, and now you are going to the places, and some of you are intrepid adventurers. I got this... Uh, fortune cookie long ago and I keep it right on my mirror you are admired for your adventurous ways and yeah I'm putting myself out there that's that's me that's me I've actually had to stop myself from taking jumps here and there uh, let go of some of my more daredevilish ways and this shell this shell made uh, the trip from a year ago in Florida to this year in Florida down to my grid point at Lake Michigan Beach and another so all these messages coming in so hot and heavy all the time those of you that are weaving a lot of you are the weavers of the silver and gold and and you are your silver and platinum your golden rays as I was leaving the Lake Michigan Beach over the weekend, I was driving and I was prompted, go up this road that I usually don't go. And as I stopped at the light, I looked to my right, and there on a fence, someone had put a sign and it said in huge letters, you are beautiful. And I just about busted into tears and I, I had to look away. As I looked on the left side, there was a thing that said, Great Lakes Clinical Trials, Post-Traumatic Stress Disorder, Eating Disorders, you know, PTSD. And I said, my God, there's my message. It's on this side and it's on this side. You can choose this road or choose this road. Choose the road of you are beautiful and keep on going and, and pull out your inner beauty and go within and, and work. Or some people need help. Some of you, your twins, need help. They need that boost. They actually need you to uh, maintain and get healed. You are going to need them. You're going to need them. There were other messages I got, and I'm going to um, share this. By the way, today is Superhero Day at the school. My superhero, one of them, Wonder Woman. One of these days, some of you Blu-rays, I hope we're having a coffee and not talking and talking and talking about this stuff. I would love to. Because I I very much more in that 
direction. I would love to just um, have some of this be where we, we want to go now. And it, it is. It's finally here. So along with these messages, all this week I got from my book, I was prompted, and I don't always look at this book. It's a tarot book by a gentleman named Paul. And the key words, it was all wands, fire and action, ignition, in aspiration, assimilation, celebration, unrest and restless. That's what's going on with you and some of your twins. There's restlessness or there's unrest, triumph, forcefulness, movement, perseverance, overload or doing too much, eagerness, vigor, faith, and vision. That's all of the cards of the wands, all these keywords. And so along with this keyword thing, I was told to the other day, just two nights ago, to look this up. And while all the answers aren't in here and they're in your heart, I know a lot of people wonder and and you're not seeing it, and you really want to see it, and all of us want to see it. We really want to see what have we created here. And the uh, one that I got was I'm sorry, it is the Eight of Cups. Bear with me here, it's coming. Oh, I'm sorry. The Eight of Cups is things that are solved by walking. It was the Ten of Cups. It was a dream of perfect bliss. Ten of Cups. And in this Ten of Cups, I'm starting to read, and my guidance, my higher self is saying to me, read me. And that's the philosophy of this. It is to have a dialogue with you and your higher self to, you know, in this level, give you some words that will reach you that you need sometimes. And that is saying that every conceivable experience of unconditional love and joy, friendship, tenderness, passion, harmony, appreciation gushes forth in one idyllic picture. All the experiences depicted, this is good as it gets. And here's the depiction, okay? But the words, a couple stands side by side, co-creators. That word just sent me off. I was like, <laughs> co-creators. Yeah, that's the trust that in faith that you and your twin have co-created something. Co-creators of a reality so beautiful, so expansive. They must step back to take it all in. The symbol of the overarching awareness of divine love and blessing at work in their lives. They're off, it says, with their arms upraised, they offer thanks, but they open themselves as vessels to receive the continued good that comes effortlessly to them effortless now some of this involves preparation body preparation and the other waves of twins you're going to benefit from what the blue rays have done because we've done the setup we've done the infrastructure you're not in charge of how everyone receives it some of you are healers some of you are the people that you know other people will go to and I've said this to a lot of you, you have a choice here. You can either take and have the on-the-job training and learn and expand your gifts, or you can go to a class, and it's not to diminish either way. It is just that there are new and better ways here. Let's talk about one of the examples. This was an example in my webinar, and this might answer some questions for some people. If you like this, get my webinar, because there's it's packed with a lot of information. Okay, so 
let's say it was brought up and I've been picking this up a lot in people's readings and sessions. I can pick up the energies. It, it feels like escapism, like someone is dulling themselves down, dumbing down their, their senses. They're covered with something and I can usually feel whether it's an anti-anxiety drug or uh, something of a, uh, uh, like a, if it's marijuana, if it's drinking, I do pick up on that. And a lot of people confirm this. So for example, if in uh, a session I say, I'm picking up the energy of marijuana, do you happen to know if your twin does? And some people don't know and some people do and they say, well, you know, they do, but they've got this. There is the equivalent of an intergalactic post-traumatic stress syndrome. And there are a lot of people that, depending when and where they grew up, there were no other choices. They self-medicate. You dumb it down, you numb it out, you do something. Or you grew up in a neighborhood where that was what everybody did. But whatever the reason, you have on one end of this is the twin flame union. So on one end of the infinity symbol, you have escapism and addictions with marijuana, other drugs, or alcohol, or a combination of everything. And people will say to me, Patricia, how is my twin, how are they going to get rid of these things? Or even rationalizing it. Well, it's not that much. Now, I have spoken to some people that... Uh, they do take valid medication for things. They may have a medicinal form of something. It could be uh, Valium. It could be um, an opiate of some kind for pain. It could be for fibromyalgia. It could be for um, methadone. There are a lot of people in pain with methadone. And you don't always get told everything. Like, you don't get told get something to help you go to the bathroom if you take some of these things. A lot of people find it out the hard way. And that's because pharmacists actually have more training than doctors when it comes to the pharmacological effects on the body. So there's even balance there. But, you know, if we talk about some of the stuff, I mean, there's other, there's legal issues. This side's legal. This side might be illegal, depending what state you're in. And how do you bring it and, you know, let's say here it's essential oils or it's opiates or it's painkillers. Maybe someone, it's legal, but they're abusing it. They take too much of it and affects their twin because you do have an effect on each other. Um, we've just passed medicinal marijuana here in the United States, but only in some states. And that is in a highly refined form. It's not for street use or recreational use. You need a prescription for it, and it, it's um, while it is a wonderful drug, it is not the end-all, be-all, uh, and many people, if they use it, still find that they have to wean themselves off of it, just like the people with addictions have to wean themselves off. How do you do that? It's finding your center point and the balance, and that is with the love. The love is through your body. It is pushing out the things that have been connected to. This is what I mean about get the strings out and close the gate. You have to get these things out of your cells, out of the cell memories, right down to the bone level sometimes. And this is just one example. I have several examples and information in my webinars so that it makes it the how to, how do we do this? There are several ways that you can do that. And I outlined some of them in my webinar. And let's put it this way. You could take a 20 year path and for Blu-ray Twin Flames, there is no more 20 years. Your love is gonna heal some of this. It still requires paying attention to habits and behaviors. There's no excuse for bad behavior. You know, there's, there's getting to be fewer and fewer excuses for this. So, um, what I want to say to you is all of these karmic relationships, this retrograde and some of the other retrogrades that are coming up, and as we head closer towards the convergent points, you are going to find that any, whatever hasn't been resolved, it's going to come up and it's best to get it resolved somehow. Other waves of twin flames, 
there will be more waves in the spring and in the summer of 2016. This is the blue ray, especially the first wave of incarnated blue rays, not ones that are flying in a uh, non-physical form around us. This is for the incarnated blue rays, the homecoming, the autumn merge, and flying away. So there it is. That's my message. I am still sticking to my message that we are coming together and merging. And one of the things that I've noticed is that when I feel the love, it's there. What's coming through the readings are things like the nuances of what does this mean, what does that mean. It's still up to the person to feel that, feel, you know, what do you do with it? Does it belong in your union? That's the real question. What belongs in your union or what belongs near your union and what needs to go? And what are you kicking out? Because breaking up with your twin, while you may not want to be around certain behaviors, and I'm not saying I blame you, you're not here to be kicked around or a doormat. And, you know, the more that you mentally spin with things, if you're spinning and spinning and spinning and, you know, taking time or getting angry about things, that might take you some time. That's a mental emotional adjustment. We're all doing it. We're all adjusting our mental and emotional bodies. We all are. But it's on the way to becoming truly the angelic that you are on the inside and that you came here to be. And I have uh, one last thing to say. This is just a little shout out to some people. Okay. And I hope this is correct because I had to rely on my friend to do it. I hope you can see that. I hope. I hope that's correct, but that's what I'm trying to say. I want to, I'm kind of passing along that you are beautiful message. You are beautiful. You are loved. You're here to be in love. That's, that's the bottom line. And that's my message. Twin Flames message means make love, not war. Thank you. Bye now.